Hey everybody, Chad here. Just thought I'd show you a cool little magic trick. This is a one of the coolest card tricks that I know how to do. I'm going to call this one uh, 3x7 because I don't know the actual name. So let's go ahead and get on with it. All it is is 3 cards by 7 cards. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, Six, seven. I think that's it. Three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three by seven. Real simple little thing here. So now what you do is you have someone pick a card out of one of these piles. Doesn't matter what card it is. So let's say it's the ten of hearts. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark this with the rubber band so you can see what's going on here. Now you ask the person what row their card is in. They're going to say this. And then you say, okay, now pick another pile. And they're going to pick, let's say, this one. So you pick this one up. Now this is the important part. You make sure to sandwich their cards in the middle of the rest of the cards. Now that one, that's, that's what I call the introduction. Now there's three times you got to do this. So one, So, we did the introduction, and then the one, so now we got to do it again, which card, what row is your card in, this one, okay, what pile would you like me to pick up first, this one, okay, and that will be that. Okay, this should be the last one, I do believe. So what what uh, row is your card in? It's in this one. What pile would you like to pick up first? This one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay, now, one, two, three. And one, and two. So, their card is always going to end up one, two, three, fourth place down in the uh, center here. Or you could, on this last one, instead of laying them out like this, what you could do is you just go three, six, nine. 10, 11. So you could just say that that's their 11th card and do like this. So, oops, one, two, three. I don't know if I did that right. Anyway, you can count them out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then 11. So you can do it either way. If you want to do that last one face up, or you can just uh, count it out to the 11th card, or you can do a little bit of sleight of hand and uh, have it be the 11th card, or wherever you want it. So anyway, that's the first version that I have of this trick. The second version I have of this trick is similar, but it's it's I think it's way more cool. Um, it's a little bit longer. I don't know if I'll be able to speed up the video or what, what I'll do with it yet. Anyway, just have have someone, your buddy or whoever you're doing the card trick for, have them take out two cards, whatever they want. Because we're not going to use them because we need 50 instead of 52. So we're going to take out those two cards and put them off to the side. Now this one I call a 5 by 10. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, Five. 
Anyway, you're just going to keep dealing until all these cards are gone. But the cool part about this one is you only have to do the intro and then ask them where the card is twice. Or three times, but you, on the third time you'll know exactly what the card is. So you really don't have to put them out a third time. So anyway, let's say they pick the... Oh, hell, I don't know. How about the Queen of Hearts? Okay. Pick the Queen of Hearts here. What row is your cards in? Here. Okay, pick two piles. This time it's two piles. Pick any two piles. All right, say this one, and this one just to make it easy on me. And then, same thing. You gotta make sure that you sandwich their cards in the middle. So you sandwich those in there, and then you get these ones on top. Now that's basically the intro. Now we're gonna go one, Okay, now you can take a breath here. Anyway, one more time. What row is your card in? They're going to say this one. What two rows would you like me to pick up? So they say this one and this one. Pick up those two. Okay, now the third row, obviously, is going to be theirs. i got to be careful just because of the rubber band. And then sandwich it in the middle. Doesn't matter which ones you're picking up, really. So, now we're going to do it one more time. Now, this is pretty cool. So, well, I'll just go ahead and finish dealing these out, and then I'll tell you how this kind of works. So you only have to do this twice to find the card, instead of three times. It's kind of neat, because I came up with this myself. So, now you ask them, what row is your card in? If it's the first row, it's going to be the sixth card down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, the other, so if it actually, here's the way it works. You got five and five. One, two, three, four, five. Anything from six through ten on this end here, anything six through ten always ends up in the first row. Anything one through five always ends up in the last row. So I'll show you this real quick. So let's do a one through five. So let's just do this eight of hearts. So this is the card that they're picking. What row is your car, card in? First row. Okay, pick up two more. One, and we're going to go two. And then we're going to sandwich this in the middle. There's like that. That. And that. I'm trying to go through this fast as I can. Hopefully I don't have to do a whole bunch of editing.
Okay, now this is the second time, so what, what uh, row is your card in? This one, so we pick up two other ones, ask them which ones you want, they'd like you to pick up. So, pick up these two. Now pick up your row. This makes it a little difficult with that rubber band on there, but I wanted to be able to show you how this works, sort of. And now, this will be the fifth card in the last row. But you're not going to know that. So all you really need to know is if it's the last row, you count down five cards. And that's their card. If it's in this row, then you count down six cards, and it'll be this one. It'll be this card here. So basically, that's how it works. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's that's pretty much how it works. I don't know if there's a way of uh, actually dealing them out because you have to ask them one last time. What row is your card in? This one or this one? And that way you know if it's going to be the sixth card or the fifth card in the first row or the last row. Anyway, that's basically how it works. Hope you have fun and uh, peace out for now.